here from Ghost to 11 Media, bringing you another episode of Grounds for Divorce Coffee Reviews. And I'm joined by my husband, Rick, here. How are you enjoying this record-breaking heat wave we're having? Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> hey, we need to sign, I'll we'll put something behind us here, you know, like the Death Valley or Dry Gulch or something, because literally they said on the news last night, and it seems to be living up to it from where I'm feeling today, mm-hmm. is that today was supposed to feel, with the heat and the humidity combined, that Vancouver was supposed to feel like 50 degrees Celsius. I converted that for one of my American friends down south. I was explaining it to him. Yeah. It's 122 degrees. Wow. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 122. I'm going, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, 122. I mean, I'm born and raised in Vancouver. I've experienced many hot streaks and you know yeah. where it's like oh man it's like 92 out there today yeah 92 you'd be going like who give me a sweater because <laughs> this is boiling so thank yes. goodness we're our studio is downstairs uh, on the ground level uh, yeah. of our uh, unit here and it's uh, quite a bit cooler down here it's, indeed it is oh, my goodness the top floor is just horrible horrible have you said that? I've got a real throwback shirt today. Yes. This is this one goes back uh, oh about uh, seventeen years, eighteen years. It's um, it's for the, the, the black sheep, and uh, it was the um, the the squadron, the the eighth squadron there that was uh, flying the F one seventeen Nighthawk stealth bombers. And uh, as you know, I'm, I've always been a, a big fan of. Uh, History? Well, history, but uh, avionics. I, lo- I love, you know, jet fighters and all that. So I used to go to the air shows all the time. Yes. And uh, picked this up from one of the crew that uh, was at one of the Vancouver air shows. And uh, I'll put the picture behind. You can see the back of the t-shirt. It looks pretty cool as well. And it's got the stealth fighter on it. And uh, they actually retired the stealth fighter, the F-117. Uh, they retired that uh, back in 2008. So like five, five years afterwards. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at that time, they closed down the, the 8th. Sorry. It's nothing to see. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Her head went. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they, they actually decommissioned the eighth, um, the squadron, and it was the first time in I think it was sixty seven years of flying that they got decommissioned, mm-hmm. and then they recommissioned them the year after when they brought in the F twenty two Raptor. So okay, really cool history there. So shout out to uh, the brave men and women of the Canadian U S forces and, and all the forces around the world that uh, keep freedom uh, alive. So. Wow, now we've got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> so, uh, today we are sampling Spring Island coffee. Okay. It's a medium. Spring. Salt Spring Island. Oh, what did I say? It's spring Island. Oh, Salt Spring. Salt Spring. Sorry, Salt Spring Island. Um, yeah, so we're, we are sampling their Meta Espresso, and it's a medium dark roast. And so. Are these like jellos or what are they? Or do yes. I want to know? I don't want to know. <laughs> Another experiment well, for you folks. <laughs> considering the heat waves going on, I was trying to figure out different ways we could keep cool using coffee. You know what I've been doing? I've been making every morning iced coffees. Yes, waking me up. Yeah, because literally laying there in a pool of sweat, like just, <laughs> I need something cold. <laughs> <laughs> get up and make a nice coffee. Yes. So, and I just, yeah. And thanks for waking me up the last, past few mornings. You're welcome. I was sleeping. Hey, you know what? I haven't, so. <laughs> <laughs> Misery loves company. <laughs> I've had the worst sleeps with the heat. I can't, I just can't do it. Okay. So. What are we starting with? We're going to start with the pour over. All right. I debated about doing something hot, but. That's kind of how... Yeah, but don't they do that in the, the hot countries? They give you hot stuff and spicy stuff to get you sweating? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, cold showers and drenching yourself with water and standing in front of a fan is really helpful. Yeah. That's nice. Yep. A bit of a cocoa. 
Is that a medium? Even with, yeah, like even it's with a, medium, a little right? bit of fruitiness. Yeah, it's it's fairly bright. Mm -hmm. But it's a medium dark roast. It has a bit of that darkness a little at the bit. very end, but not. But at the end, it's, it's definitely not front loaded. No. Interesting. Cool. It tastes, yeah, it tastes right. quite. One last sip. Let's move on to the medium. next thing. All right. Okay, what are we doing? Which one? The iced coffee? Yeah, we're going to try the iced coffee. Ahead. Isn't that pretty? I'm already, like, you know what? I'm already sweating here. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's my turn to... My... Mm. Oh, Excuse God. me. <laughs> my turn, my head to explode there. Mm. How's that? That's nice with the milk. Mm. So you use no milk? No sweetener, yeah. Just uh, a 3.25% homogenized. Nice. Lactose-free. Lactose mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Isn't that nice? It is. It's, I want to keep going, but it's... Yeah, no, no, you got it. Mm -hmm. This is going over here because I know you'll reach for it later. <laughs> so... Yeah. It's a good, it's a good thing with having been policing, it's the long arm of the law. <laughs> reach over. All right, what are we grabbing here? Okay, Everybody so... Starting where? So, let's start with the plain ones. I have to tell you, this is very bizarre looking. Um... Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> so it's like coffee jello. <laughs> yes. And I'll tell you how I make it. You know it. what this looks like to me? It reminds me of you know, like gravy's gone cold and gelatinous. Mm. It kind of looks like that. So kind of. Hopefully it tastes better. <laughs> I hope it tastes better. Oh wow! Oh wow! He says. Hey. Do you like it? <laughs> I hate it when she said, do you like it? <laughs> because then I'm going to go, uh-oh. So, a uh, quick run through on the recipe. You get yourself like one of these mm. little packets of gelatine. And uh, you want to take a, a quarter cup of cold water. You're going to dump that into the cold water and stir it, whisk it very well. Then you're going to get boiling water and then slowly pour it into that. Mix it very well so you can get um, the crystals to dissolve. Then what I did was I took a double shot of espresso, poured that in. So I have everything in a measuring cup so I know how much liquid I need to do because at the end, when you add either, you know, more hot water, because you're gonna add hot water to total two cups in your measuring cup. So what I did with that one was I actually put three tablespoons of sugar, a splash of vanilla, and I actually put it um, put it on the stove and I boiled that one because I wanted to see, because some of the recipes say you should put it on the stove top and carefully boil it, low boil, uh, to get uh, the, the sugar, the sugar to dissolve. So it comes out nice and smooth. All right, it's good. Okay. I like that. That was that's tasty. Mm-hmm. Did not expect it to taste like that. It looked no, just kind of weird neat. to me. Okay. Uh, I like it. Okay, so let's try the um the one on the far. This looks like a chocolate pudding. Oh, it looks like a chocolatey jello. No. Really? Can I try it? Sure. So I did the same recipe. The quarter cup cold water, quarter cup hot water. Is there no sugar in there? No, there is. I just didn't add sugar to it. So instead of filling the rest, so like about a cup and a half of water, I put chocolate soy milk. Hmm. It's like pudding. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Crappy pudding. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, here you go. I have the remedy for it. This makes pumpkin pie taste better, too. And then, well, you and then you just 
<laughs> we'll do like a, a night at the Roxbury. <laughs> Over there, just doing the laughing gas over that. So, okay. Let me try a little bit with that because mm -hmm. honestly, there just really wasn't a lot of flavor. It just kind of tasted weird. Yeah, I didn't add sugar. Definitely makes an improvement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is the same base, mm -hmm. just with raspberries. Yes. You know what they say: you put enough whipped cream on it, it's gonna be good with Irvin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, yeah, definitely does it. Now, so how's the here? raspberry and the coffee together? It's good. Yeah, it's good. That's a, a way better to me than just plain on that one. Mm. What do we got here? Mm. Sour raspberry. <laughs> Woo. Um, what does that look like? So it's the, the first one you did? Yes. With oranges? Yes. This would be interesting because hopefully it doesn't make the oranges taste sour because it, the, it was fairly sweet on the side. But it's neat because like some coffee drinks out there are actually used like an orange liqueur. That's actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was looking for ways to use up fruit that you've requested but never bothered to eat. So I thought of a great way to use it up. <laughs> like like a, I never eat it. Okay. Mmm. That is nice. Mm -hmm. Semi-healthy. Mm -hmm. okay. Pineapple. Go for it. Mmm. I bet you this is going to taste really good. Oopsies. I think pineapple and coffee go together very, very That's well. That's really weird. Like you never really would think pineapple. It's not, it doesn't taste weird. No, it doesn't. It no. tastes really good. No, it tastes really good. I'm saying like the, the combo of pineapple mm -hmm. and coffee. Yeah. I would never have thought of that. This is probably my favorite. Yeah, I'd say it's, it's better them. than the raspberry. Uh, the and, raspberry is good, but the raspberries are really sour. Mm. Wow. Well done. Yay. So guys. Give it a try. Yeah, no, I, I think you guys, uh, you're going to like it. It's good. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, looking at it when I saw it in the fridge, I was like, oh, dear Lord, what is she <laughs> doing to me now? Um, didn't know what you had done. And I always, I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's best not to know. Yeah. Um, but it actually uh, turned out really well. I, yeah. I have to say, um, with the whipping cream, and the raspberries is, is a good way, or the uh, the just the the chocolate one with whipping cream is really good. Um, orange is pretty good on its own. I don't think mm -hmm. you would want to put whipping cream with that. No. No, I don't think so. I think there's mm -hmm. enough flavor, and then this is this is really good. Yeah, I think the pineapple is definitely my favorite. Mm -hmm. Goes really well with the coffee. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am going to go make myself a nice coffee now. Well, you got one right over there. Oh, can I have that one? You can have that one. I'm going to eat these desserts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, and you know what's it's just when you get it's so hot, it's just kind of like the whole thought of food. You're just kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. And yeah. So I hope that everybody's uh, staying safe in this heat because it's not just BC, it's Alberta, it's down into the US as yeah. well, in, uh, the Pacific yeah. Northwest. So stay safe, stay hydrated, stay cool and uh, we wish you all the best. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe. I'm still watching, still <laughs> watching. Um, and uh, we, don't, we want your support. And at the same time, don't forget to check out our store. Groundsfordivorcecoffee.ca And if you're international, it is groundsfordivorcestore. Oh, no. Grounds for Divorce Coffee dot store <laughs> dot store <laughs> I'm Ron Burgundy <laughs> Well, that's gonna do it for all of us here at Channel 4 News. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy? <laughs> <laughs>